I, I give you crap, but there's love there. I want to let you know that. It's like the older brother. It's like, yeah. you know, you beat him up, but if anyone else tries to beat him up, you say, hey. I am the older brother in this yeah. situation. You say, don't do that. All right. All right. Oh, okay. So we got Lucky Reno versus uh, the... Oh, man. SD, you can't really SD against this team. Uh, yeah. Lucky, lucky with a little bit of bad start. I'm surprised they're not picking red team. I don't Lucky Reno like, the, like red team. I think so. Do we see them go right against? Because Lucky likes red. Yeah, Lucky likes red. Yep. The things I wonder about, you know? Maybe red, green, colorblind? I respect no, the consciousness. No. For the fans, you're saying? For the yeah, fans at home? Saying, yeah, FCF. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I don't think that's why. <laughs> I'm going to say 100% chance that's not why. What's the thought? I like the decision then whenever Hunger Box is just off stage, they're just chilling. They're like, we're going to focus this 2v1 on Mewtwo King. Because anytime you have Mewtwo King in the center alone, it's rare. You know, otherwise he'll just be hanging out by the ledge where he set up shop for, what, eight years, nine years and counting mm -hmm. longer. Mm -hmm. Mewtwo King is home. No tech on that uh, side platform. Reno is in trouble. So they're all both able to come back. Okay, let me get that nice back air. Very clean. So after losing that first stock to an SD, Lucky did a, a pretty solid job holding on to the second one. Reno shooting those needles a little too late. Only able to get a save. Yeah. Now smash to the corner. This could be really dangerous. Uh, okay. Lucky makes it back with a nice air dodge. Ooh, going deep. Almost tries to get the... Hoping for a no tag for Mewtwo King. Mewtwo King does a uh, time it well. Up to up air! Almost the perfect kill. percentage to get the, the KO. Man, and that get up attack with Mewtwo King was so smart. It lasted long enough to kill Reno and also poked Lucky away too. Just next level stuff by Mewtwo King. The forward air ends up intercepting. Tough hitboxes, man. Pretty good. Gigantic. To like sneak under a back air like that, most moves can't do that. Wow! Oh. Double <laughs> rest? <laughs> And they're done. Yeah. Like, yep, well, that, that seals it. Oh my God! How? Jeez. Lucky just tried to get in there. He tried a little bit too hard and just. See you. I mean, he had to save him. Yeah. They, they were in a position where he had to save him. Hunger Box feels good about that. Yeah. And that. Uh, feels good about teaming with him. That's one stock. of those moments where you're like, oh, all right. It's Hunger Box. Nice. <laughs> feels pretty good. Oh, I think I made man. the right decision. What a, what a show from Green Team there, just dominating from the start Dude, to the they finish. They look so good. They did look phenomenal. It's right, so uh, see. I don't want to look past uh, Lucky Reno, but the way Hunger Box and Mewtwo King are playing, uh, it'd be so hard for any team to beat them. Yeah, yeah. this one, man. It's, I know we we're doing this three-team storyline, but they look so good. <laughs> yep. Oh, that might be a rest. Yep. Oh, phenomenal DI by Lucky though to come back from that. Oh, I thought we were gonna see another one. You know, and um, there was there was a point in the the Red Bull documentary about Leffen where he mentions one thing he likes to do when he goes to tournaments, like when he was at Gamal, is even in his pools matches, his you know other other bracket matches, he wants to win as dominantly as possible because he knows his opponents, his later opponents are watching. Yep. And he wants to make the statement that you know what, I'm gonna win this tournament. I'm the best. I'm just so good, so much better than everyone. And he wants to use that to get into people's head. And I know if, you know, Team Alliance, if uh, Pew Fat. Pew Fat are watching this, they're like, oh. geez, this team looks really good. Yeah, they're just firing on all cylinders They're right rollouting now. people. Yeah, and that's when you know. That's when you know. That's when you know. Oh. Somehow instilling the fear in Reno, even though he was just sitting in shield. Still, still make it happen. That's what happens when you meet your king. On Neil's side, Lucky's uh, lasering his teammate. I was gonna say, I don't understand why they're not lasering in the right direction. They're drawing needles. The thing is, you can cover. You can throw some needles right where Puff's trying to plank and then do lasers if he jumps up. That's a good point. I think but they're worried about King's needles too. There's a, there's a lot going on here. They're worried about King's needles when he's sitting over there in the, in the chain. The, the chain <laughs> yeah. Lots to worry about, man. That chain, Mewtwo King's chain, I, I'll never doubt it ever again. 
Oh my god, that needle was so good to support. Did some damage to, to Lucky. Oh, could have oh. been a rest. Yep. He had the read on the tech roll in, and there is another read on the tech roll in. Oh, they didn't even need to connect the back air. It's so scary to roll into Jigglypuff from this team. Because Hungry Mugs legit just waits. <laughs> Damn, we could have rested that yep. too. But I, I mean, he was at zero. I like the decision to wait. That's one of the scariest things about watching a Jigglypuff player, right? Is that, yes, they get a lot of rest. But you look at all the situations where they could have rest. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> this character's pretty good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry Mugs a little bit late getting there. He had a, a grab rest potential setup. Like you said, just. You see him. Yeah. Hungry Box forward again with needles in the back. Seeing him especially, you know, really amplifies that type of play. Uh, great nearby Hungry Box to break up the sheet grab. And yeah, Lucky's starting to make things happen. He's got to. Well, not quite yet. We're going to try to go for that forward air. That would have been a cool little team combo if they got it. Nice save by Hungry Mugs with down air. Oh, that is going to kill. Yeah, shoot's still done. Wait just a second. Wait there, just. Oh. There is a chance here, but uh, good TI by Hungry Mugs. Yeah, bouncing off that tree. That was huge because he would have been dead, and even though the percents are pretty rough. Oh, okay. Well, at least he's able to, to steal, though. Mm. They're still in this game. Just barely. Reno's got a hold. Oh. Ah. Reno's holding. He is doing his job. He's not letting Mewtwo against pressure get to him. Nice. Okay, and there goes up. one. Reno's. Oh, oh my gosh, shield break. All right, that's not bad. That's it's not that big a deal, yeah. right? Not in teams. Oh, lucky not in a position to save. Now he's stuck in a 2v1. He's getting edge Oh, and a little low, and Hungry Box with the, the Tiger Woods fist bump. And they'll move into top eight where, like we said, they're playing S-Fat and Pew Pew U. Yeah. I can't believe it's a winner's semis. That's Someone good. had to. All right, so did get an update that Plup and West Balls did take out Grab and Go, so they're playing Shroomed and Allen. Yeah. So we have one side of our winner semis decided, Hungry Box Mew Team versus SFP Pew. Those two teams did march it together, you know, to get there, uh, expectedly. But uh, SFP Pew did have some, you know, 